Let's learn how to simply loop audio without having to count the beat. What's up, guys? David here. I uh, am doing another tutorial today showing you how to simply loop simple audio in Adobe Audition without having to count the beat or no BPM or anything like that. This is super basic stuff and it's very easy to do. And once you learn how to do it, uh, you'll kind of wonder how you ever lived without being able to do it. So let's dive right in and show you what I'm talking about. I have a stereo audio file pulled up here and it's just some uh, simple, nice uh, beat heavy music. Cool, right? Sounds nice and mellow and relaxing. And now let's loop it and annoy the crap out of everybody. Okay, let's count the beats for a second and see why this doesn't always work. And it's kind of hard sometimes. One, two, three, four, one. So if I go from one to one on these uh, conveniently pre-marked selections in this piece of audio, this is one, two, three, four, four beat measure, right? So this should sound good and it should be very loopable. Uh, so maybe this will be nice and easy and I can be done and that's that. So in order to check that in Adobe Audition, I simply need to click this guy down here. This little swirly arrow here is the loop playback feature. If I click it and now it is blue, that is enabled. So when I play a piece of audio, it will loop that piece of audio as long as I have it selected like this and highlighted. So these little hashtags here, I'm gonna select them. My little loop playback is selected, so now I'm gonna hit play. Well, that sucks. Sure, the beat is on beat, one, two, three, four beats in that measure, but it sounds bad. And it's because sometimes when you counted, you'd measure out loops this way it doesn't always work out the way that you're hoping it does. So I'm going to show you a way easier way to do that in Adobe Audition. And you'll want to be in waveform view for this like I am here. So what we need to do is pull up spectral frequency display. There's a few different ways to pull it up. You can check out the tutorial right here. If you're not familiar with spectral frequency display, the easiest way to do it is click this little icon right here. And it'll pull up this little heat map at the bottom. So what do you notice right away? If I zoom in on this heat map, you can see all the beats. You can see them all in these straight lines are mostly yellow and then all the harmonics and other frequencies along with them. So now this makes looping audio very easy because I don't have to count a thing. I can just listen and then highlight it and see if the loop works. Let's try. Okay, so now very important to create one of these little tags right here, they're markers. I can hit the letter M. If I put my high, my uh, cursor right here, hit the letter M, it creates this little uh, tag. So now I'm gonna use that to mark where the start of my loop will be. I'm gonna mark it right here. I like that one, letter M. Now let's keep listening. Sounds like it's this one right here. Where'd it go? Yeah, it's this one right here, I think. So I'm gonna hit letter M. Now let's test it. I'm gonna highlight this and I'm gonna hit playback and see if I'm on, off, way off, or way on. I didn't count nothing. If I use my little loop playback feature at the bottom, it makes looping music very, very easy in Adobe Audition. So now I can go in and even fine tune it. Cause if I look down at spectral frequency, I can see I'm right up on this little yellow section of the beat. I can click right up here. You can see my little marker. If I move my highlight, you can see my little marker and I can tighten it, loosen it, whatever I want. And then all I have to do and I'm gonna move my marker there too. I'll go to the other end of the loop and I'll do the same thing over here so it kind of matches where the other one hit. And I loosen that one, so I'm gonna loosen this one too. Now let's see if that sounds a little better, a little cleaner, maybe it'll sound perfect. I think it sounds pretty good and I didn't have to count anything and I use spectral frequency display to make it uh, loads easier going forward and then it creates uh, so many more opportunities for me to have wonderful music playing under whatever project I'm trying to put together. A podcast, some voiceover work, a radio commercial, uh, anything that I need. Now I can loop music 
infinitely. If you're having any trouble with this or any questions about this, feel free to reach out, call, text, email if you know me. If not, leave them down in the comments and get to know me. That might have been a little creepier than I intended it to be. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys.